Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I wanna to show you how you can use Presenter View in Microsoft PowerPoint when you're presenting in Microsoft Teams. What is Presenter View? Well, there are three advantages of using Presenter View. The first one is you get notes alongside your slides. So let's say that you have a big presentation coming up at work, or maybe you're a teacher presenting to your class and you wanna make sure that you hit certain points. With the notes, you can make sure you cover all the points that you wanna cover on that slide. Also, you see what's coming up next in your slide presentation. I don't know how many presentations I've been in where the presenter has been flustered by the next slide that appears. You don't have to let that happen anymore. And lastly, with Presenter View, you get access to a whole bunch of annotation tools. For instance, you could pull up a pen, you could pull up a highlighter, a laser pointer to make your presentation more dynamic. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use Presenter View even if you just have a single monitor. It's really easy to pull up. This should be a really quick tutorial. And why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how to do it. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open. Coming up later today, I have an extremely important meeting where I'm gonna be pitching the Kevin Cookie Company to investors. I'm trying to raise some funds for the Kevin Cookie Company so we could expand our locations. Now, anytime I talk to investors, I get really nervous because our company really depends on being able to raise these funds. Now, when I'm presenting, being able to see notes, being able to see what slides are coming up next, that'll really help me deliver a more confident presentation. And if I could use annotation tools as well, I think it'll also make it a more dynamic presentation. So presenter view will be very, very helpful here. I'm gonna go ahead and let me click on this meeting and I'm gonna test it out to make sure I could get into presenter view and to make sure everything works as I expect it to. Emily on my team has a volunteer to help me test it. This way you'll be able to see what my screen looks like as the presenter and you'll also be able to see what it looks like from an attendee's perspective using Emily. Let me go ahead and join this meeting I've now joined the meeting and I could see that Emily is already in the meeting. Hey Emily, how's it going? Doing great, Kevin, how are you? Yes, once again, the Kevin YouTube channel is smaller than you'd expect. It's only me. So here within the Microsoft Teams meeting, to be able to use presenter view, well, first off, I need to share or present some content. So up here, I have all of my meeting controls and the one that I'm interested in is the one where I could open my share tray. So let me go ahead and open that up. Now you see all these different items that I could share. Now there are three different ways you could share a PowerPoint presentation, but only one of them will bring up the presenter view. So choose wisely. Over here on the left hand side, I could simply share my entire desktop. However, when I share my entire desktop, if I shift into presenter view, my attendees will also see that I'm in presenter view and that's not what I want. I want to see presenter view and I want my attendees to just see the slide. So if you chose desktop, this is not the right path. There's also another option on the right hand side where you can upload a PowerPoint presentation to Microsoft Teams and you could present that way. Now that gets you part of the way there because your attendees will just see the slides, you'll see the slides and you'll also be able to pull up notes alongside your slides. However, the notes won't be via presenter view. The only way that we could show and see presenter view is if we go ahead and share the PowerPoint presentation window. So this is the right path if we wanna use presenter view. So let's go ahead and share the PowerPoint presentation window. This brings up a PowerPoint presentation and right now I'm sharing the entire window. If we look over at Emily's screen, what you'll see is right now she sees everything that I see. So she sees all the PowerPoint Chrome, she sees the slide sorter on the left hand side and then she sees the slide in the center of the screen. We wanna get it into presenter mode and to do that, first off, we have to kick off the presentation. There are a few different ways we could do that. Up here on the ribbon, if we click into slideshow, you can start a presentation from the beginning or you could press the F5 key as the shortcut. You could also start from the current slide. The shortcut for that is shift and F5. And then also down here in the bottom right hand corner, you could also click on this icon to start the presentation. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna press F5. I'm a big fan of shortcut keys. It makes life easier and quicker. So let's go ahead and kick off this presentation. So this drops me on the first slide of the presentation. And right now, if we look at Emily, she sees exactly what I see. We're in just the standard presentation mode. 
Now I wanna bring up presenter view on my screen. So one way to do that is here on the slide, I'm gonna right click with my mouse, and then I see an option that says show presenter view. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now you'll see on my screen, this pulls up presenter view. And right here in the middle of presenter view, I see the slide that currently all of my attendees can see. It's the largest one and probably the most important one because this is what's being broadcast out to my attendees. Over on the right hand side, I see the next slide that's coming up. So this way I won't be caught off guard by the content that's coming up next. Once again, it's surprising to see how many people are thrown off by what's coming up next probably has to do with collaborating with other people on slides. Someone inserts a slide and you forgot that it was there. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, and this is where I see all of my slide notes. So this way, as I'm presenting the slide, I'll remember here in this case that I wanted to share an example of a coworker who used this during her presentation. When I speak to this slide, I could bring up that point. Now, along with seeing my notes down here, I have all of my different tools that I could use while presenting. So I have things like a pen, a laser pointer, I could zoom in, I could turn the screen white or black. I have lots of different tools. I could even turn on subtitles or captions along with my slide. And then I could advance to the next slide or return to a previous slide. So I have lots of different tools here. Now, if we look over at Emily's display, you'll see in Emily's display that she continues to only see the slide. So even though I'm in presenter view, Emily continues to just see the slide. So this way she doesn't see all my notes. She doesn't see all the different tools that I have and our views are now separated. Let me go ahead and end the slideshow and I wanna show you one other way to get into presenter view so you don't have to first kick it off into full screen presentation and then shift it. Instead, what we can do is when we're on the main view here within PowerPoint, if you press the Alt key with the F5 key at the same time, that'll launch us directly into presenter view. Now, if you remember when we hovered over from the beginning, the shortcut key was F5. All we do is we combine that now with the Alt key. And so let's press Alt F5. When I press Alt F5, this drops us immediately in the presenter view. And once again, I'm gonna pull up Emily's screen and Emily just sees the slide that we're presenting and she does not see the presenter view. Now that we're back in the main PowerPoint view, the F5 key has lots of different ways that you can use it. If you wanna just start the presentation from the first slide or the very beginning, you hit F5. If you wanna start from the current slide, you press Shift F5. And if you wanna drop directly in presenter view, you press Alt F5. So combining F5 with a number of other keys, you have power and control over how you wanna kick off your presentation. Now that's how we get into presenter view. I also wanted to do a quick call out for another YouTube video that I did that's also very helpful when you're presenting in PowerPoint. And I have a link to this in the description. I have a link to the video. I also have a link to the deck. But within this deck, I call out a whole bunch of different shortcut keys that you can use while you're presenting in PowerPoint. So all of these different ways make it easier and make your presentation more dynamic as you're presenting it. All right, well, that was a quick tutorial showing you how you could get into presenter view in Microsoft PowerPoint while you're presenting in Microsoft Teams. If this video helped you learn how to use presenter view, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.